Carl Lawson's out for the year. I mean, when news came out that, you know, Lawson hurt a pop in his Achilles, I knew, and then obviously with the card as well, I knew, you know, it wasn't going to be good, but to actually have it confirmed that Lawson is going to be missing the entirety of the season is a blow. I mean, just to see how good he was uh, performing at training camp, how he looked against the Giants, uh, how he fits the system, everything was there, entering his prime. And yeah, I mean, he's been a guy that's dealt with injuries before in the past, you know, with ACLs and you know lower body stuff. But at the end of the day, like everything was looking up for, for Lawson and his career and just coming in on that three-year deal, like everything was there. And then you have something like this that happened in a joint practice, you know, not even, we're not even, we, ha we haven't even reached the second preseason week yet. Absolutely unreal. So I'll say this, you know, is the season over? No, it's, it's not over. Is it going to be a lot harder without Carl Lawson? Definitely. I mean, he's the team's best, pa he's the team's number one pass rusher. So we do have Ronald Blair on the roster and he's a guy who I really, really like. The Jets brought him in for a super, 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 super team friendly contract. And I mean, yeah, you know, he's, he's not, you know, when you're just comparing like pound for pound him with Carl Lawson, he's not uh, better, you know, by, by any means, but, and he's never been one of those guys that's been like a 12 sack, you know, like this elite pass rusher, but Ronald Blair can, I mean, he can set the edge. He can do a lot of really good things. And obviously he knows the system. He fits the system. He's had a ton of playing experience with Robert Sala. He, I think he, had, I think his best season came a few years ago where he had five and a half, five and a half sacks. And he's, I think he's 6'4", 270. Ronald Blair is going to need to step up. And obviously, you know, Vinny Curry, he's uh, another guy who's hurt at the edge position. So I'm still really excited to see what happens with Bryce Huff and John Franklin Myers, two guys that I feel like still have not reached their full potential. But, uh, you know, Carl Lawson's out for the year. So huge blow. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. I cannot. And then, by the way, you know, we have Denzel Mims limping off, limp, you know, getting hurt today as well. Um, so I've heard Sheldon Rankins is also dealing with some sort of injury. Like we talked about, Vinny Curry's out. Elijah Moore's battling something. Elijah Vera Tucker's battling something. It's, uh, you know, Quinn and Williams finally practicing. That's awesome. But he's still not 100% ready to roll. So at the end of the day, it's it's just a tough pill to swallow. I mean, it, it all, it's, all, it's eerily similar to C.J. Mosley. You know, he's coming in as the big money guy, you know, a, one of the leaders on the defense, pretty, you know, really productive in Baltimore. He comes in, big money contract, and gets hurt, like, almost immediately. First game of the regular season, he's out. And he misses the entire year, comes back towards the tail end. And um, I just, it, absolutely unreal. I can't even believe it. So, anyway, thanks so much for watching. Uh, but again, just to leave it off on a uh, leave the video off on a positive note, is the season over? No, it's not. It, it, it'll be a lot tougher. But um, I believe in Salah. I believe in the message. I believe in you know the all gas no break mentality, whatever you want to call it. I, I'm excited for the season. I just feel like the defense might not have that extra, you know, no pun intended, that extra edge. So we'll see what happens. Ronald Blair really pumped up about him. He's gonna have to. He's going to have to, uh, you know, fill some big shoes here. But like I said, we'll see what happens. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. And as always, go Jets.